Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, and light to all of my gods and goddesses. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. All right, everyone. So this is our first reading of the day. We're going to see what the universe has for you guys. So of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you have your notification bell on so you'll know when I go live, post readings, make announcements to the community, is, and more. Okay? All right, so let's tap in, everyone. Spirit, angels, and guides, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Channel message reading. Please protect my energy as I tap into the spiritual portal. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Seriel, Metatron, and all of our powerful divine archangels, ask that you all step forward to bring clarity and truth to Scorpios. Oh, wow. This card flipped out again. Toxic family. Wow. So toxic family is showing up again here. Hmm. Hmm. So there's something you're needing to know in regards to toxic family members, kind of like the reading we did last night. Tell me more. Toxic family. Hmm. And this card just flew out the deck here. Tell me more, toxic family. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. So someone can have a Sagittarius Mercury that is a part of a toxic family situation and we have abuse and violence. Hmm, okay. Oh, well. There's some abuse. Kind of, this seems like similar to the reading that we had last night on live. But now there's something about abuse and violence going on. Hmm, okay. This could be domestic violence. This could be mentally, physically, emotionally abuse. Hmm, okay. Let's see what this is about everyone. Actually, let me use this deck here. All right, tell me more about toxic family. Tell me more about toxic family. What is it that Scorpio needs to know in regards to toxic family? And of course, everyone take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay. Toxic family, tell us more about this spirit, angels, and gods. more about toxic family thank you oh the devil oh wow i'm hearing evil there's some evil family members there's drinking smoking drugs alcohol narcissistic controlling it's almost like you're binded because of course it's family this can be mother brother sister cousin father they're very toxic here a lot of low vibrational energies people battling inner demons oh goodness someone may have capricorn in their chart hmm. Hmm. ace of wands six of swords in the reverse and ace page of cups hmm I don't know why I'm getting something about sexual abuse here that that I feel like the family hasn't healed from some people can't move oh gosh this is sad here someone has not been able to move on or leave behind seem like something sexual oh goodness hmm Tell me about Sagittarius Mercury. Clarify Sagittarius Mercury. Oh, geez. This is going to be a very triggering reading. Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing like it's dark secrets within the family. Thank you. All right. So, Eight of Cups. So, you may have 
walked away or been in a relationship with someone who has a Sagittarius Mercury placement. You left this person behind emotionally, you checked out. You no longer giving your love, your time, your energy to whoever this may be. Mm. We have the Tower and the Seven of Cups here. Scorpio, Aries. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors. It's chaos. It's destruction. It's drama. Illusions. Delusions. Unhealthy relationships. Unstable environment. Things being exposed. Hmm. Whatever this was, it caused a lot of depression here or to the fact that you walking away, choosing your own life, your own happiness. Some of you guys could even relocate it. You're more happier now. Mm. Wow. Oh, jeez. All right. So tell me about abuse and violence for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Of course, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Hmm. Abuse and violence. What is abuse and violence? <clears throat> what is abuse and violence? This is going to be triggering. <clears throat> what is abuse and violence spirit when it comes to toxic family? Thank you. All right. So the nine of pentacles. So someone may have Virgo placements. I feel like this is you, Scorpio. And that's your energy with the eight of uh, cups. Hmm. Like with all the abuse you may have encountered as a child, teenager, possibly into your adulthood, it puts you in the mindset of just wanting to be alone. Focus on yourself. Mm. All right, so we have the sun, the page of cups, and the moon. So Leo, Pisces, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces with the page of cups. So you have something with your childhood. Seemed like a lot of things came to the light about secrets that was kept in the dark from your childhood. How someone possibly manipulated you. Mm. Wow. This King of Wands here in the reverse and the Hierophant. I feel like your ancestors or, or God has been keeping, it's like they've been protecting you from whoever this King of Wands is. A fire sign. A masculine energy that was very karmically low vibrational. There was someone here wasn't a good role model for you. Hmm. Wow. Someone is definitely reaping what they sow. Hmm. You're more happier being on your own and being alone. Hmm. Oh boy. All right. So tell me about the devil and toxic family for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Wow. What is the devil and toxic family? It's like someone wanted control. So 
someone wanted you under their control. Mind control. Oh, yeah. The Knight of Wands. Something sexual is going on here in a family. Yeah. Someone is a sex, damn near have a sex demon or something. Hmm. Yep. And this family here. Now, this can also signify that someone you're somehow connected to comes from a toxic family. Very wild, reckless. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting someone has like a sex demon. Someone is possessed. The devil energy is rotting someone's back. I'm hearing something about people in your family may have started having sex at a young age, teenage age. Hmm. What is the Eight of Cups in uh, Sagittarius Mercury? Thank you. Yeah, so what happened here? Whoever is a Sagittarius Mercury, you left this person behind. You abandoned that situation or relationship with that person. There's been a lot of like bickering, fighting, arguing. You had no choice but to walk away. And this can even be one person in particular who could be a fire sign or have Capricorn in their chart and also Sagittarius Mercury. You walked away from this person because of all the tension, the aggravation, the disrespect. Yeah. Hmm. Justice and the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It seems like by you leaving is someone's karma. Like the scales are actually being balanced behind the scenes. Things are working out in your favor now that you walked away. But this Seven of Swords seems like someone who's trying to avoid karma or consequences or punishment. Mm -hmm. And as you embark on your own journey to self-love and become better, you're kind of like falling back in love with yourself, taking time to heal. It's like you're on a healing journey, being your own best friend self-love going through a spiritual awakening hmm. someone whoever this is could also try to beg you for forgiveness for things that may have happened in the past or like i said this can be a relationship where someone came from a toxic family but you had to walk away because they were too toxic but someone's going to want some type of resurrection forgiveness help mercy mm. wow but it may be too late the doors is closed yeah you're blocking these people out you're setting strong boundaries when it comes to your household your family your love life yeah you're allowing someone to reap what they sow wow all right, so final message here. Tell me about abuse and violence with the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. For some reason, I'm getting someone likes attention. Someone likes attention. They're attention-seeking, what they call attention-seeking whores type of people. They like conflict. They like drama. Yeah, someone has a lot of inner demons that they need to heal. And I keep getting a sexual demon. 
This can be controlled, narcissistic, drinking, smoking, whatever it is. So either this is your family or someone you're connected to. They came from a toxic family. And that all the fighting and arguing and bickering back and forth, the unhealthy situations, unhealthy bonds, you had to leave that situation. Because it looks like something was turning very abusive and very violent. And you had to just end up, you know what, let me just stay single. Let me do my own thing. I don't want to be attached to anyone right now. All right, nine of pentacles. So yeah, someone's been like this since they were young. Mm -hmm. All right, so two of pentacles. With all the abuse and violence that you may have experienced in relationships with a particular person or your own family, it's put you at the point that you don't know how to feel. You don't know how to deal with people, you know? You feel safer being in solitude, being by yourself, focusing on you. Because you're definitely reaping harvest. Yeah. You feel safe being single. Because you're tired of being played with. You're tired of not being... Number one, you're always an option. There's always something else being chose over you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You choose, I'm here and ignore the noise. You're not falling for the BS anymore, the smoke and mirrors, the illusions of things. You're putting your energy into yourself, staying grounded, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, focusing on your bag. Get into the money right now. Yeah. You're turning, you're turning your back against the past, people from the past, family members you have, you know, past lives with. You're moving past things from your childhood. Standing in your power, knowing your value, knowing your worth. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, something to do with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here. You're healing from whoever this masculine energy could be. Father figure, husband, brother, cousin, whoever this can be. You're healing from this person. You're letting, releasing and letting go. You're giving it all to God. You're putting it in the universe hands. You know, if you're religious, you're praying about it. You know, you're feeling some type of relief. This healing journey that you're on is helping you to relieve what no longer serves you anymore. Focusing on your own happiness, emotionally fulfilling yourself. Waiting for the next journey or the next chapter of your journey to arise. Looks like there's going to be some type of good news. Or there's someone that may reach out to you. Someone who's a water sign. Someone who may have disappointed you in your past. You may hear something from this person. This person is also reaping what they sow. And I feel like you're going to block them out too. Someone shows that they thought the grass was greener in another situation and you're protecting your space and energy from that as well because this is someone who may have breadcrumbed you. You supported them. You loved them. It's almost like you're getting rid of a lot of people. You're cutting ties with a lot of people. You know, people that ghosted you, used you, played you. Yeah. Yep, blocking them out. Follow your intuition to cut people off. Stay in your ground. Protect your energy. Release and let go will no longer serve you here. Because everything that you needed to know has been shown. It's been illuminated to you. And now what you're doing is choosing your own happiness and not dealing with people who haven't evolved, who haven't worked on themselves. Even though someone seems like they want to apologize for being a liar, a cheater, being disrespectful to you, to the relationship or the marriage, but that door is closed also. Mm -hmm. You're now on a self-love journey. You've gone through a spiritual awakening. Mm-hmm. But someone is trying to strategize a way how they can make things right with you, how they can reconcile when it comes to a family situation or a relationship. Yeah. Wow. All right, Scorpio. This is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. So someone can have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Mercury, um, or Sagittarius as their sun placement. And they're charged, so Scorpio, you may have Virgo placements, okay? All right, peace, level nine to each and every one of you, and I will see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.